God almighty, has something happened to you? Did someone steal your fancy crows? Hey! I'd like to discuss the price. Naturally. You know what? I think you like me. Oh, one second. Satisfied? I'd almost shake on that. Almost. 175? Aye, for that amount I can be persuaded. Right, thank you, I appreciate it. That was a whole day. was a sword we picked up from what's his name? Uh, I can't remember his name. But we're gonna keep fearing out. We're gonna go this so we can get, save some money. Well, let's get rid of it. We'll save some money. The armor shop from Sodic. Rolls and pretzels. Weird that you can't just go to the same store, but that's okay. Good day to you. Do I need to repair my stuff with you too? Farewell. Woo! Woo! 1.6k? Good luck to you. Grand. I'm not too worried about it yet. I get 1,000 of it. I keep thinking save some of it. Or get where eventually. A little bit extra. Let's talk about the price. Save some money. Why not? You know what I mean. Over 100. Agree? That's better. Drop it a bit more, and we'll call it a deal. Fifty, seventy. Finally, a reasonable right. sum. And the best point is we're about to get rid of all that money we just earned. Because... Take care now. Everything in Japan. Are you serious? No, 
God be with you, lad. What can I do for you? I'd like to enroll in the big tournament. Come tomorrow morning to the Upper Castle Courtyard and I'll gladly sign you up. I'm certainly not going to do it here and now. And don't forget to bring three score Groshen with you. God be with you. Three score Groshen, score six. My lord, I'm afraid you were right when you said these hostilities wouldn't end at Verbislovitz. That comes as no surprise. What has happened? The men reported two more attacks today. <coughs> ah, Henry, I'm glad you're here. It seems like we'll have another task for you. Come and join us. My lord, greetings, lad. The bandits raided a few remote hamlets, but that's the least of our worries. They also attacked Marhoyed. That's a much more serious matter. Men are yet. Matthias is working there. They attacked right after the battle in Pervislavitz. Bastards are probably trying to prove they're still strong. But there's a silver lining. The villagers held them off. And they even took one captive. He's wounded. But we can still interrogate him. Your graces. I hope I'm not intruding. On the contrary, Master Tobias. Unlike Bernard, you are the bearer of good tidings. Or so I gather from the coin you carry. Tell me, how many Groshen did we find in Pribislavitz? My lord, I'm sorry, but my news is no better than Captain Bernard's. These coins are very good. That is to say, well-made facsimiles, as we call them. Uh, fact what? I don't give a fact what you call them. I want to know what they're facking worth. Uh, that's just it, sir. They're worth nothing. You saying what I think you're saying, Master Tobias? Um, this here is just a pile of copper. Kurra! Fuck! Plated with silver, so it's still of some <laughs> worth. Mm. Kurva! Fuck! Is it a lot of work to make such counterfeits, Master Tobias? I should say so, sir. Highly demanding work. Especially to make such plausible forgeries. They would need a well-hidden foundry, several craftsmen, and a source of material. But they could just be brought in from somewhere else, could they not? Well, they could, but then again, the silver mines are nearby, and these grottons seem freshly minted, so... So we are facing a foe who has almost limitless sources of coin. That's all we need. Dock the devil. Well, gentlemen, it's clear what we have to do. Interrogate that captive bandit, find out their numbers, and promptly cut off their supply of money. Otherwise, they'll soon have another encampment. If they haven't already. I doubt it, sir. Merhayed wouldn't have been able to hold them off if they did. Well, lad, I said that we'd have work for you, but it never crossed my mind there would be this much. You've already proved your worth as an investigator, so I'm putting my faith in you again. Go to Merhayed and question that captive. Find out where those brigands are hiding, how many there are, and what they're planning. And while you're at it, see if you can find some clues as to where this counterfeit coin is coming from. Very well, sir. Good luck. We're counting on you. All of us. Come report to me as soon as you know anything. I'll be at the lookout point near Talmberg. Apparently I have 
never been there. Except I've been there. But we're good energy, good nourishment. We have a couple hours before we have to go to the tournament anyway the next day. So let's go ahead. So I think our goal this episode will be let's go ahead and head there. Whee! And then when we get there. Can we do. You gotta say the artwork on this map is amazing. It's my favorite part of this game, the, the map itself. I don't really save it much, but I do really enjoy this map design a lot. And I love the fact when you fast travel, it's kind of like a chess piece moving around. It would make my day, like, when we get around here, if we get an encounter. If we get an encounter, we can actually just walk straight there easy. Please, sir, help me. What's happened to you? I've walked all the way from Kuttenberg, but as you can see, I'm barefoot. My feet are fade to the bone. Don't you have a strip of clean cloth for me, good sir, so I can swathe my feet at least? Wait, I'll see what I've got. Oh, man. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. I seldom meet such a good Samaritan. God shall repay you. Anytime. Take care now. Oh, that was kind of lame. I was hoping for a fight or something, but we can just walk. Pebbles! Yeah. This game is actually a pretty beautiful game as well. Like, I don't... This game didn't take out of 2018. I mean, I'm a big fan of this game. It is a massive game. It is a massive game. I don't know if you love it. 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 I'll be with you. What's happened here? Things are bad. Very bad. First we get attacked by them brigands. Barely come out of that alive, and now the plague. Plague, you said? Indeed so. Something's up with the village. Even the livestock are dying. It, it's a gruesome sight. I heard the bandits didn't get very far here, though. Luckily, young Straw saw them still over by the cross and woke the whole village. 
We even captured one. He's tied up now at Melikar's place. But then the disease came. Who attacked you? I don't know, some bandits. Ever since Scalitz was raised, they've been marauding the whole province. Did you put up a fight? We most certainly did. Once Melikar heard young Straw shouting to the hills, he handed everyone a pitchfork or a flail, and we ambushed the bastards. Good on you. How did it turn out? We gave them what for until they turned tail and ran. But they cut up young Straw. Something awful. He didn't live to see morning. Who are Melikar and Straw? <sighs> That's right. You're not from round here, are you? Melikar's the one looking after things around here now. Before that, it was down to Smill from the Neuf Stud. But they killed him that time they raided the place. And young Straw is the son of Andrew, a local woodcutter. Or was, I should say. The bandits saw her out. The old man isn't taking it well. Where will I find Melikar? If you stand at the main gate of the stables and look across the road, Melikar's is the house on the left. I'd like to talk to Straw. I see. Well, if you stand at the main gate of the stables and look across the road, you'll see Straw's house on the right. Oh, I don't personally that Straw is dead. Tell me more about this plague. It sounds terrible. Worse than you can imagine. The old stud, livestock, sheep, chickens. Old dead or dying. No doubt the people will be next. Melikar's old woman's taken to her bed. And it doesn't look good. Straw's wife and brother got more and more. I'm sorry to hear it. I'm looking for Matthias. He works as a stable hand at the stud farm. Matthias? The brigand's got him for that. He's lying wounded at the stud. Thanks. That'll be all for now. Take care now. How? You're a sight for sore eyes. What are you doing here? It's good to see you too, Matthias. Sir Radzig sent me here to investigate the raid. Sir Radzig? Looks like you've come up in the world, mate. You're here as his envoy? He took me into his garrison. Hal the blacksmith's boy in the service of his lordship. Who'd have ever thought it? My luck hasn't been so good. You survived. That's something to thank God for. True enough. If I were in your shoes, I'd get the hell out of here. There's some disease spreading. Disease? Folk are saying it's the plague. Whatever it is, it's bad. It started the day after the raid. First the horses got sick, then other animals, and now people are falling ill too. Damn! Are you alright? Well, well, at least I haven't caught the sickness. But you've been hurt. It happened during the raid. One of those damn bandits fell on me, horse and all. My arm's badly broken, but better than a broken neck. Tell me about the raid. What do you want to know? I hear one of the raiders was taken captive. I'd like to question him. Aye, old Melikar, let him have it over the head with a flail. And now he's locked up in the barn. But be careful. Why's that? That fucker killed young Straw, and his old man's sharpening a sickle for him. Melikar still hasn't decided what to do with him. I understand old Straw wants revenge, but first I have to question that bandit. What happens after is no skin off my nose. Good luck, then. Can you describe the raiders? 
I don't know. They came at dusk, so you couldn't see their faces. About 20 of them. They weren't humans, though. They spoke Czech. You talked to them? No, no. They were shouting at us. They were very sure of themselves to begin with, but when we hit them in the woods, they didn't look so brave. I know you've got courage enough for any man, but how did a bunch of untrained villagers manage to hold off armed bandits? One of the village lads caught sight of them coming through the woods and told Melikov, who roused the whole village, and everyone grabbed what they could. Pitchforks, axes, flails, and we went out to face them. What? You mounted an assault against them? Aye, and that was the key. It was the last thing those whore sons expected. A few of them still managed to break through to the village, probably wanted to torture. But even the women here were armed with what they could find, and they took the bastards by surprise. About this sickness, when did this plague start? The day after the raid, the horses were lying down in the stable, so we knew something was up. By afternoon, they were all dead. Then other animals started getting sick, one after the other, and then people. What are the signs that someone's getting sick? Well, I don't leave the house much, but folk complain of fever and shakes. Some are throwing their guts up, and others are spewing from the other end. Has anyone died from it? Aye, old Verba, although he was already on his last leg, so no one knows for sure if it was the plague that got him. Either way, the animals are dropping like flies, and people will end up the same for sure. Who's ill now? I don't know. What with my arm the way it is, I don't go outdoors much. But I know Melikar and Straw have sick ones at home. Can I ask you a bit about Medhoyed? I haven't been here long enough to learn much, but ask away. Can you tell me something about Old Straw? He's a woodcutter, tough as they come, and a hothead. He's been out of his mind since his boy died. That's normal to grieve, though. Depends how you look at it. Folk are afraid he'll snap or drink himself to death. What's worse, his wife caught the sickness, and he's not taking care of her. Where can I find this straw? When you take the main gate out of the stables, you'll see two cottages outside. Straw lives in the right-hand one. I knew that. You know, we know everything else. But next time on Kingdom Come to Olympus, let's go ahead and talk to the other two guys. I'll see you then.